Welcome, everyone, to episode number 56 of Talking Kentucky. My name is Coleman Scott. His name is Caden Holmes, and he is back tonight after being on a two-week hiatus at uh, Disney World. Is, is that right, Caden? Yep. I went to Disney last week, and then the week before, I think I was in Bowling Green or something, but I made sure to tune in on the comments. I made sure to get my alien comments in there, and you didn't talk about it, but that's okay. I figured we might be able to talk about aliens this week. Oh, of course. Well, Bowling Green and Disney, those are two different places, that's for sure. <laughs> you said you're in Disney one week and Bowling Green or something like that the other week. Um, so, well, it's good to have you back on the show, Caden. Uh, lots happened since you left, and uh, Kentucky Kentucky baseball got blown out by LSU since you were on the show uh, last. So, uh, And I had an LSU shirt on last week, and tonight I have on a red shirt. So I'm, I'm breaking all the rules here on Talking Kentucky, but um, I think you're just going to have to forgive me. Yeah, the, the I guess we're a baseball school now, considering what all's happened. Um, but were you rooting for LSU or for UK that night? Oh, I was definitely rooting for UK. You know, I was trash talking all my LSU friends. Uh, didn't shake out very well after they blew us out fourteen to nothing, and then uh, I don't know, it was something crazy it was like eight to four the next night or something like that. So it wasn't so who uh, all's left now? I don't even know. I, I didn't even care about college baseball to begin with. I, I made myself watch that series, and it wasn't very pleasant. I'm not not that big yeah, of a college. It's usually, it's like, usually how it goes. We get our hopes up for Kentucky sports, and then they just get crushed. Well, that's that's how – yeah, it definitely felt fitting, you know, um, in, in that respect. But I'm kind of like uh, about college baseball, how you are about college football kind of thing. You know, I just – I, just, I don't even know. Yeah, not a fan. Yeah, that's that's right. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna look at our holidays for today. The the first holiday is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. So that's 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 not a. I mean, that's kind of a depressing one. Um, so we we won't spend too much time on that one. Um, yesterday was National Bourbon Day, uh, but it's never too late to celebrate that, right? We can celebrate some of these birthday. holidays seem reoccurring, Coleman. I think they're just recycling through all these holidays on whatever website that is. Hey, Isn't what, it National what? Bourbon Day like every month? I guess in Kentucky it's it. National Bourbon Day every day. But Josh Hart sent me that yesterday. It didn't even come from this website. That came from the desk of Josh Hart last night. So, oh, um, he sent me that it's, too. Uh, beer Day today, though. So it says Beer Day Britain. Actually, nothing gets a Brit going like a pint of beer and a cause for celebration. So it's Beer Day. <laughs> Um, what going? It's also Global Wind Day, so everybody in Illinois and Indiana with your windmills. Wait, you did you say nothing gets a Brit wind. going? Yeah. <laughs> Caden, you're muted. I think something happened. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you. Uh oh. We were if things were going well. We didn't have weren't having any technical difficulties. In the comments, um, you hear me? No, I can't hear you now. Um, it says uh, it's coming through. It's an issue. Um, Marsha Davis Wilson says, dang, that could be me, LOL, oh, what a holiday. Uh, well, yeah, anything with beer, bourbon, yeah, it's definitely, it definitely could be. Caden might, well, Caden, why don't you try exiting out and coming back in? That might be helpful. You did have great sound, though. I was able to hear you pretty well. Still can't hear that. me. Uh, okay, so, I'll even come back in. Says, says you're coming through. Maybe... Um, here. Coleman's natural try, girl disconnected. Try talking again, Caden. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. Dang. Yeah, try leaving and coming back in. That that might help. Um, can you all hear? Could you all hear Caden in the comments? Uh, you could you could let us know if you did. Josh Hart says I didn't even know you. Uh, I was not getting notifications. Oh yeah, uh yeah, we're on Josh. But glad you glad you found us and everything. Um, so yeah, we're switching back. <laughs> Thursday nights. No, I still can't hear Caden. I don't know what's going on. Um, Josh says he can hear us both. So, okay. Well, uh, Josh and Marsha can hear Caden. So maybe, maybe it's me that needs to leave and I need to leave and come back. So I'm a, I'm a exit out and come back and see what that does. So Caden, you can take it away while I leave. Yeah, it sounds like, um, as always, we're having technical difficulties. Um, Clyde, I see you're at VBS, so I'm glad you are uh, joining us while you're at church. 
I'm still looking for a church home myself. Coleman, can you, now, can you hear me now? Now I can hear you, Caden. I don't know what it was. Oh, I guess it was me on my end. We, we were just talking about church and how Clyde's at VBS. Oh, well, that's a good place to be. Um, I was going to bring that up, by the way. That's like one of the first comments I saw. Um, so, yeah, Vacation Bible School. Well, Clyde can't be as... Uh, he can't be as upset as he usually is tonight about like Kentucky basketball or anything. If he's at, if, it, if he's at VBS, you know, he, he's got to be a censored version of his true self, I guess <laughs> tonight. Um, well, I'm glad I can hear you now, Caden. This is much better. I much prefer to be able to hear you. That's for sure. So are we on holidays? Yeah, we were on holidays. That's right. That you, was you said cool. something about a Brit drinking beer. Yeah, it, that's right. It's it's uh it's Brit drinking beer, um day, today. Brit as in like British. Is that what uh, we're yeah, about? uh huh. Okay. That's what it says. So and then it's okay. International Wind Day or something. So Illinois and Indiana can celebrate with their wind, uh, uh windmills and stuff like that. Well, we're a fan fan of wind as trumpet players, so. Yeah, and uh, I think that that's really, you know, like Clark says, you know, wind power is is one of the main, uh, you know, Herbert L. Clark says that's one of the most important things, aspects of trumpet playing is wind. So, and, and he would Pretty be sure right. no one, none of our viewers know who Herbert L. Clark is. Uh, you, you never know. If anybody knows who Herbert L. Clark is, you know, just pop in the comments and, and everything, everything will be all good. Um, so, uh, well, let's see. What, what are some topics? We, we have a lot of stuff to get into tonight. Um, and I can't believe I didn't headline this on our little, um, you know, I've started doing, Kate, and I've started putting a little tonight on Talking Kentucky uh, advertisements on our Facebook page and listing some topics that we'll talk about on there. So I, I, think that's, I think that's a good little promo thing to start doing. I think I saw that last week. I think that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, uh, what? Well, no, before I get into that, I need to get into the lighter fluid thing. I think we need to talk about that first. So, um, okay, on my way, in my trip home from Kentucky, um, I stopped in. Uh, I, made, I made a whole uh, I'm out, a trip home to Kentucky from Louisiana. I made a, a whole trip out of it. So I stopped in Oxford, Mississippi first to see Ole Miss's campus because who wouldn't want to do that, you know? Um, it's, I just like to stop in and see all the SEC campuses. And I even got a little souvenir, even got a little Ole Miss sticker. I don't know if that's legal or not for me as an SEC fan, but I, I couldn't resist. So, you know, you're going to start doing like Peyton and putting them on your trumpet case. Yeah. I'm going to start putting them on my trumpet case, you know, may as well, or water bottle or something like that. But man, Ole Miss had a beautiful, uh, campus. Um, it was like, okay. it was the most beautiful campus I've ever seen. Uh, that, that, that's for sure. And, uh, there's like a lot of um, I have a friend that teaches there. Uh, and it was it was a, like an expensive little town. Like you could tell like all the little restaurants and, and coffee shops were like um, overpriced and everything. And uh, apparently she was telling me that um, like basically what the, what the mantra is there is um, like girls will come to Ole Miss basically just to rush. Uh, sororities and if they don't get in the sorority that they want then they drop out of school and defer for the next year just to get in the sorority they want to uh, that honestly doesn't surprise me Caden like uh, I mean I knew I, every school in the south is a big sorority school but especially Ole Miss so yeah that's like a musician not getting the chair he wants so he's like all right forget it I'll just come back and try again next year I yeah, got I got fifth chair instead of Top three, you know, so I'll just it's like give a, it another shot next time. It's like a basketball player, like coming to a university and just like sitting on the bench and not playing. Do you have anyone in mind? Yeah. I mean, there's a couple, but I, you know, I don't want to say it out loud or anything, but there's, there's a couple for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, Clyde says to throw my old Miss thing away. No, I like, you know, I, I think Ole Miss, besides Vandy, of course, um, is my least hated team in the SEC. And actually, even if you include Vandy now, um, you know, I kind of hate Vandy now because they're 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 kind of beating us and everything. They're beating us in football now. They're beating us in basketball, and they probably beat us in baseball too because they've always had a good baseball team. So I, I'm kind of not a fan of Vandy. So Ole Miss might be my next favorite besides Kentucky team in the SEC now. I know they beat us in football, but they're usually kind of not a – they're a non-threat, right? 
Oh yeah. It's just, it's just Ole Miss. Um, and uh, Claude says, I can't stand Ole Miss. Claude, why can't, what, what you got against Ole Miss? Why can't you stand Ole Miss? Caden, you don't hate Ole Miss, do you? I don't have a problem with Ole Miss. A problem <laughs> you, with Kenny Payne. I don't have you a problem you with love Ole Miss. Kenny Payne. You don't have a problem with Kenny Payne. You love Kenny Payne. Um, and Josh says, I just want to beat Tennessee and everything. Well, of course. Yeah. Well, that was a throwback, by the way. We, we, we know Kenny Payne's not at Ole Miss. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're joke. not that stupid. Yeah, we you were not that dumb. So yeah, that was a throwback to an earlier episode. I think it was like two, maybe. Marcia says I have no problem with Ole Miss. I like Ole Miss's colors. I like the the baby blue, like the powder blue. That that's clean. I like I like the powder blue. Yeah, blue. They, they have those those baby blue helmets and everything. I like them. The yeah. red looks good on it. It does. Um, but uh, I was going somewhere with the, the oh yeah I was going with the to the lighter fluid thing so we got off on Ole Miss and powder blue uh, when I was talking about lighter fluid so then my second stop after Ole Miss was I stopped in Western Kentucky to, to see Caden and uh, you know we we grilled some steaks Caden well Caden grilled the steaks they were they were good though that that's they were from they're from Walmart and Walmart's getting it done like the those steaks those are some of the 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 best like home grilled steaks I've had and they're you know good old Walmart meat. Yeah, those those prime steaks from I don't know if our viewers know this. I Cody, Cody told me this, but Walmart Walmart does have good meat. So you just got to get the blue prime steaks. Yeah, they were going to be high. They're going to be a little little expensive, but you get what you pay for. I also discovered that the ranch, the show the ranch on Netflix is really good. That's a good show. Um, it's pretty funny. Not, not family friendly though. It's not. No, but sometimes we're not a family-friendly show here either. So depending on how Kentucky basketball is doing, so you know, it just depends. And I look at it. I also learned that Caden's setup for the podcast is like way more professional than mine. I just have a USB mic that I plug into my laptop, and uh, my laptop. And then Caden has like freaking three monitors, and like, like it's crazy. He has a a really big ring light and a high-tech mic with a boom arm. It's crazy. Well, you have the the trumpet pedagogy book. That's basically yes. the the whole like base basis of your entire system. You know, everything's sitting on it. So my ring light is sitting on top of a trumpet pedagogy <laughs> book. Actually, right now it's sitting on top of three of my four high school yearbooks. Right now, uh, so I, I knew those would come in handy too. So multi, yeah, the ring it's light. multi use. You read become a better trumpet teacher, better trumpet player, and then you can do your show all in the same book. Yeah. No, oh, that's a, that's absolutely right. But we, uh, you know, after all was said and done, you know, Kate and I built a fire out in the backyard. And uh, this lighter fluid we had, we, well, first of all, we, we tried to start it without lighter fluid um, with like paper and cardboard that, that didn't work. Um, we thought it was going to work there for a minute, uh, I, I think we discovered that the, the Lincoln logs, uh, method was better than the TP method. Is that, is that right? To get it lit at first. Yeah. But eventually it, it still went out on us. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> Claude says Jamal Murray is better than Devin Booker. Well, that's a, Hi, that's we're a, talking about lighter fluid. <laughs> But I don't I don't disagree. I mean I don't disagree, but yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Um but um anyway, uh yeah, couldn't get it lit. So we thought, well, we'll just break out the lighter fluid. And we kind of, you know, there was already some fire going. So um Josh is talking about everyone he hates. Yeah, he, he Tennessee and Indiana and everything else. Um, but so like there was already some fire going. We squirted the lighter fluid like onto the log thinking it would ignite. So we kind of stood back to try to squirt some lighter fluid on yeah, there. You think that's what lighter fluid does. Right. Hence the name. And dang thing went out. It was like you put water on there. It didn't make any sense. I don't know what was going on. It just, it now, just went out. I did get the cheaper lighter fluid at Walmart. So I don't know if it's a, you get what you pay for kind of thing or if it that lighter fluid well. was just scuffed. The, the stakes were good. Um, the steaks were good at uh, from Walmart, but I guess the lighter fluid wasn't quite as good. And then we started texting like Jonathan and some people saying this water, this lighter fluid is is putting the fire out. And Jonathan's like, "Oh, lighter fluid always works." And uh, they didn't believe so, us. 
we decided to take a video and uh, and send it over to Jonathan, proving that the lighter fluid wasn't going to work. We did the same thing that we had already done three times. The lighter fluid never worked. And then finally, when I take the video, it like blows up. Blew up on my like, face. Yeah. <laughs> blew right into Caden's <laughs> face. So, um, yeah. And, and so as soon as we start videoing, it starts working. So I don't know. That's some scuffed lighter fluid, but um, the lighter fluid did not work for us for the most part. So I guess we're just bad fire builders, maybe. Yeah. There's a first for everything. I never thought lighter fluid wouldn't work, but here we are. Um, but speaking, you know, going back to Ole Miss, one thing I noticed when I was walking around Ole Miss's campus, I walked around the uh, Vought Hemingway Stadium, and all I could see uh, in Ole Miss's football stadium was gigantic cases of beer. And it just reminded me, and <laughs> no Bud Light, by the way, it was just, <laughs> it was everything but Bud Light. Just yeah. uh, not sure why. Um, but, uh, anyway, um, it, uh, it reminded me of the fact that UK does not have beer at its football games, but as of yesterday, Caden, Mitch Barnhart has now announced that there will be alcohol sales at Kroger field this fall. So that's only, only for $20 a beer. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but, uh, that's a big story, right? That's been a long time coming. I think everybody's excited about that for sure. So I'm, yeah, that's I'm, what Josh sent me yesterday that there's going to be beer sales at Kroger Field. So yeah, I think it was a long time coming. And like we've said before, people are going to bring it in the stadium anyways. So might as so well sell much, it, make some money. How much do you think like is it's going to be like, do you think it, you think it's going to be over, or let's take like a classic beer, but let's take like a Michelob Ultra, okay? So let's say like, let's take a Michelob Ultra. You think a Michelob Ultra would be over or under $11 at Kroger Field? Well, I'm thinking, I'm first thing I think of is beer prices at Disney. And okay. a Bud Light at Disney, which I did not buy, by the way, was $9.50. <laughs> And, you know, Michelob's a little better than than Bud Light, so Bud Light. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say ten, ten fifty. I'm gonna say like right at eleven. I think right. I think eleven's a good number. Um, if I had to choose either over or under, I'd probably probably go over. Um, because they they probably want to deter people from drinking too many, I guess. But you know, um, uh, I think it's a Coors Light at LSU is like eleven dollars. So you know, you take Michelob Ultra yeah. usually for whatever reason it's a little bit more expensive so i I could see 12 or 13 for michelob so who knows josh has it figured out here he he (laughs) says well you drink like 11 before the game and only have to buy one during the game it'll probably be like 750 to 10 per beers yeah well i cannot see it being over 11 like that would that would be insane i'm gonna i'm gonna say around 10 it wouldn't surprise me but we're gonna have to see uh, What's he that, talking about? Delayed lighter fluid? Is that a thing? I've never heard of that before. Delayed. That, that lighter sounds fluid. like that sounds like water. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know what that means. Delayed lighter fluid. Why Why would anybody ever need delayed lighter, lighter fluid? Like, wouldn't if you're using lighter fluid, wouldn't you need something to light like right now? Oh, he says he's being. Silly. Oh, he's being silly. Okay. Well. They they used to there are those like birthday candles that like go out and come back on those like trick birthday oh, candles yeah. you know what I'm talking about yeah yeah maybe or is this something like fireworks where you light it and it's delayed for like five or ten seconds <laughs> I think so yeah maybe maybe it had a fuse or something yeah um yeah that's um that's uh, maybe that's the brand of lighter fluid that we got so who knows um. <clears throat> So yeah, the beer at Kroger Field. Um, so we're going to be on par with Ole Miss uh, with that. Um, Caden, did you watch any of this Kentucky baseball uh, series? Did you watch any of the one with Indiana or any of the one with LSU? No, I didn't. I was well not at home at the time. Uh, see, my my mom worked the uh, super regional in Lexington. Uh, for the West Virginia game when we blew out West Virginia. And you know, West Virginia was the people complaining about um, the dorms and everything like that. 
um, because there weren't enough hotel rooms in Lexington. Um, because I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? You had the Railbird Festival, like Tyler Childers and all those guys were playing. Um, you had like high school, um, cross country championships were going on, and then you had the baseball super regional. So there's there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so it's not a shocker that there were no hotel rooms. Um, but West Virginia was just like they were the worst fan base about uh, the the dorm rooms. They were they were complaining the most of all of them. And then I thought it was funny when we went in and beat them ten to nothing and just like sent them back home on the country roads uh, to West Virginia. I thought it was thought it was cool. Um, that reminds me when I think we mentioned this on the show when Cody and I went down to Nashville, we started arguing with this West Virginia fan. So that that makes sense that they would make that big of a deal. He just like looks at us and tells us Oscar sucks or something like that out of nowhere. We say, we say that what that Tennessee fans are the worst West Virginia fans might be a close second to that. Um, They're, they're underrated in terms of how annoying they are. Although there's that one guy on YouTube that didn't, he release like an apology to Oscar. He did. I saw that. that. Yeah. And we're going to have to, I'm, I'm teaching at a music camp this week and I haven't had much time to do much of anything besides trumpet this week, which, uh, which I love, but, um, I, I wanted to get together this video. Maybe we'll get it together for, um, for the show next time we're on, um, of, uh, this whole thing, Caden, um, with, uh, that Corey texted us about Corey Price texts about how uh, Matt Jones brought up the same topic on KSR that we brought up. Oh, the last name, first name, the thing. last name, first name thing. So if you watched our show and then if you listen to KSR, so I think it was either that the next day on Friday or that following Monday, I'll have to, pl- I want to play the clip of Matt talking about it on here because C- Corey Price, when we had on, we, we had him on the show, he brought up this whole topic of like how my name is like, I have a last name for a first name and a first name for a last name kind of thing. And he's like, can you think anybody else that has a, a last name for a first name, like a, a reverse name like that, like famous people. And Matt Jones brings it up out of nowhere on KSR. Uh, and Corey texted me. This is actually when I was walking around old Mrs. Campus. Um, he texted me and Caden and said, are you guys listening to KSR live? Which I didn't know, really know what to expect at that point. I was like, I was thinking, oh, did, did, is, did Matt Jones mention talking Kentucky? Like, did, did he listen to us and is he bashing us or something like that? <laughs> um, and that wasn't the case. Uh, but uh, he was like, no, Matt uh, brought up the literally the exact same topic I brought up on your all show. Um, so yeah, if you listen, if you go back and listen to that KSR episode, Matt's like, so. Ryan, can you think of, you know, can you can you think of any last names, people that has last names for first names and first names for last names? And I yeah, was wasn't like, that completely oh just out of nowhere, too. It was yeah, it was pretty much just out of nowhere. It was like coming coming back after a break. So I was, I was like, man, he has to have listened to our show. Like that that would be a heck of a coincidence for him to bring up the exact same topic like right after we did. So I have to wonder if Matt Jones is like a silent listener to Talking Kentucky. Yeah, I'm like waiting for a comment saying from Matt Jones in our comment section saying, yeah. yes, I do listen to you all. Yeah. Matthew Harper <laughs> Jones in the comments. Yeah. But uh I went to KS Bar to watch the uh to watch the LSU game that ended up getting delayed forever, which seems kind of sketchy, which we talked about that. Uh everybody's talking about how uh LSU is, you know the mysterious rain delay with no rain or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I got to go to KS bar and I got to meet some, you know, the, talk to some famous people I've talked to before and, and, and meet some new famous people. I walk in, the first person I see is Maggie Davis. So I get to, I get to meet Maggie Davis. Um, and actually, uh, Corey Price texted me when I walked in and he said, are you at KS bar? And I was like, yeah. So, and he was around the corner. So I like went over and got to meet Corey in person. And that was cool. Then I talked to Drew Franklin for like 10 minutes. Who's like the nicest guy on the planet. And then I, I talked to Matt Jones for like, uh, five seconds, who is not, not quite as personable, but you know, that's, that's okay. Um, but, uh, so that, that was fun for sure. Yeah. I think um, the only one I've met is Drew. And then, Brian said like 
hey man to me as he walked by. But <laughs> so I think he was in a hurry that night, but Drew talked was. to us for, for a few minutes. That was cool. We talked well, about I, the marching or the almost at the marching maroons. That was our, our band. We did not talk about our band. We talked about our our maroon the maroons and how our mascot is a mop. That's what we talked about. Mops. That's right. Um yeah, Drew's Drew's cool. Um, but uh yeah, I want to play that clip on the show of of Matt talking about that and we can let our viewers decide um for themselves uh if uh if if Matt listens to our show or not. Uh Josh, is this is what they said on LX eighteen about the beer sale at Kroger Proud baseball stadium, both Bud Light and Bud Light Seltzer, which were offered in a variety of flavors, are being sold for nine dollars. Michelob Ultra costs ten dollars. Okay. Um I could see them maybe spiking it up at the football games, though. I mean, I would I wouldn't be shocked if they did. Um, so we'll see. But if it's ten dollars, I mean, that's not you know, that, that's pretty close to what we we're uh, estimating there. So we'll see. So they're just gonna have. So they're just gonna have those three. Is that what he's saying? That's a if so, that would be a pretty poor selection. Bud Light, yeah. Bud Light Seltzer, like. If they had yeah, Yingling like, and then sold it for like eleven, I would rather just buy that. Oh, I would pay like fifteen for Yingling. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's beer. It is. It is good. Uh, but yeah, I could see him, Josh, charging more uh, for that at at football uh, football games. So we'll see. But um. So, okay, what is this alien thing? Like, I, I don't even know, like, what you're talking about. Like, I haven't even followed that at all. Like, what what's the what's all the alien news going on? All I know is that this whistleblower came out, someone who used to work, like, pretty high up on classified information in the government, like, came out and basically said, like, the short version – they're hiding alien and alien aircraft from us. Well, I and mean, then since he said that? that, all this stuff has started um, to come out, like all these rumors of all these additional sightings and everything. Well, the question is, what do you think? I think there's a possibility, but I, I'm just confused why it seems like so ambiguous. I guess. Like, I want an actual picture. Like, this is an alien. Like, someone saying, this is an alien I saw that crashed in my backyard. That's probably so what that it's going to take for me to believe this. That would Kind of like kind of like Sasquatch. Yeah, that would be pretty hard uh, to deny, though, if that did exist. Yeah, the Bigfoot stuff. Do you, you think you think Bigfoot's out there? You, 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 you agree with that? No. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. There's like a whole. Apparently, there's been more Bigfoot sightings, quote unquote, in Kentucky than anywhere else. Like, there's a website I discovered one time, um, called uh, uh, it's like Bigfoot Sightings.org or something like that, and there were like exponentially more Bigfoot sightings in like Kentucky and Georgia than anywhere else. It's like really weird. Um, well, I grew up in the middle of nowhere and I never saw I never saw him. So well, but I do have to yeah. say my brother has these trail cameras for, for hunting. And one time he texted me and dad this picture, and I swear it looked like a monkey on the trail camera. But then we figured out that it was like just some blurry picture of this deer. So a lot of times I wonder if it's just these pictures, people's imaginations taken out of context. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. Like I, I highly doubt. I highly doubt there's actually aliens, but you know, uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, something else that we're hunting for in Kentucky basketball is recruits um, right now. I'd like to see some some photographs of some actual players that want to come to Kentucky because it doesn't seem like many of those exist right now either. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we did get the recruit from the one guy that, that just committed to us that was supposed to go to Ole Miss, by the way, which is another reason I need to bring out my Ole Miss sticker. Thank you, Ole Miss, uh, for your transfer. That's that's uh, coming over to Kentucky. So, uh, hotty toddy, gosh almighty there. Um, but uh, what's the guy's name? I don't even know. He's like ranked 170. Bert, 
Burke or something. Yeah, it's some, That's some, last name. It's like Jordan Burke. He's a forward, isn't he? He's like 6'10". Claude will know if he's in the comments. Um, and it, Claude just made a return to the comments here. He said, sorry, I was playing a quick basketball game. I scored 10 points. Well, hit him up, Cal. We we need Claude. We need shooters. So we may as well. Or Claude, Claude do you think he could play center? Because if he can, I mean, I think I think we could use it this year right now. So We need a backup. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you're if you're scoring ten points, Claude, how many rebounds did you get? So we we could have a replacement for Oscar here. We can have a double double machine and Claude here, just like we had a uh, double double. Uh, oh, and he says Jordan, Jordan Burks. Burks. Um, <clears throat> and Marsha says we need a power forward, and uh, Marshall will probably agree with me on this. I want to see, and and I hope Caden agrees too. Why doesn't like Cal and um, Anthony Bradshaw? have both said that Bradshaw is going to play the four. But Bradshaw needs to play the five because he's freaking like seven foot one and somebody else needs to play the four. Why on earth would Bradshaw – I can't I can't think of a scenario that I, as a coach, would put Bradshaw at the four. I don't know. What do you think? Well, the way I look at it, we have, what, one center and one power forward and – I guess now with Burks, we got two small forwards. Him and I just looked, and he's six seven, small forward. So we have him and Justin Edwards, I guess, playing small forward. So I don't know. I we need some backups pretty badly. We do. I mean, whatever happened to this kid from Marshall that went somewhere else? Well, it's been more than just him, right? Like and Marshall and several North three Dakota. stars now that have chosen other places over us. It was like a kid from North Dakota that went somewhere mm-hmm. else too. I heard I about think. Him. Oh yeah, Claude's talking about this Somto Somoto Somto kid. Is he supposed to come? Is he supposed to commit to us? I've I've heard a lot about him, so, mainly from Claude's page. He's been sharing that. So um, I hope he does. Oh, yeah. Som- Somto. Cyril, seven, the seven footer yeah, from Cyril. Chattanooga. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Florida, Georgetown, Indiana. And we are the only one with any interest. So, well, we've learned that that doesn't necessarily mean anything these days. So, uh, Grant Nelson is going to Alabama. Claude, is that the, uh, is that the North Dakota State kid going to Alabama? And by the way, Kansas is continuing to get these players. They got that. I think they just got that Creighton transfer that we were looking at too. I think he just went to Kansas, and then uh, somebody else just went to Arizona. And I guess that's who has all the NIL money: Arizona and Kansas, and and Arkansas has a ton of NIL money. I'm sure Bama is killing it too. Did you hear how Cal made basically made our our own type of collective now? Do you hear about that? No. Is this recent? Recent. It was like a few days ago. So well, it sounds like he's starting to uh, hop on board of the whole NIL thing. Well, it's a little late. <laughs> yeah. We do need one. Yeah, it is a little late for that. Uh, Can you Claude tell me thinks, how we got DJ Wagner without that? I don't know. I guess, I, I mean, I, I think the thought is that, like, the freshman – Incoming freshmen don't care as much about it because they're going to the NBA after a year anyway. So, like, really the people that care about it are these transfers, like uh, Hunter Dickinson. I almost said Grady Dick. Uh, Hunter Dickinson. That is, is a different Dick. Um, but, yeah, Hunter Dickinson uh, coming in uh, that we uh, – that that are, like, requiring all this NIL money and stuff. Um, but uh, – Claude says he got two rebounds. Claude, we might have to work on that a little bit. Um, but if, if he can put up a few more boards per game, I think he can start at center for Kentucky. I don't think there's any question. So, yeah. Oh, Edie. Marsha says um, Edie's coming back. Maybe we didn't lose anybody. Does that mean Purdue's winning winning at all? I think so. Um, yeah, didn't they lose in the first round, though, with all those guys? Or second round or something. Yeah, like that. well, I mean, I I think I think they're going to win it all. I 
with the disclaimer that they don't play Fairleigh Dickinson. If they don't play Fairleigh Dickinson in the first round, then they, they should be able to win it all. So That's but, a different but, kind of dick, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is. Um, and on uh, that uh, note, uh, <laughs> we'd love to take your calls um, at 502-234-1504. Caden is going to take your calls tonight. Uh, uh, I don't have my iPad all set up tonight. Uh, but uh, Caden does, so he's gonna take him for a change tonight. So, uh, you know, I've tried to deviate from the iPad setup and try to be a little bit more fancy, but it just hadn't worked. You know, it's it's all reliable. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, you know, just right. keep keep the iPad set up next to the microphone. It works. It's reliable. Um, so that's good. And so far this episode, we've we've been pretty good with uh, not having any technical difficulties for the with the exception of me not being able to hear Caden for a second at the beginning. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be good. But uh, yeah, 502-234-1504. I already know what we're going to call this episode. This episode is going to be, I mean, it's, it's non-negotiable. It's got to be talking beer, right? Because Caden's drinking a beer, I think probably um, right now, I, unless, <laughs> unless that's not it in a frozen mug. Um, and, uh, and we got alcohol sales right now. At, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine Kentucky. with it. I'm fine to, to to decide the title early. That sounds yeah. good to me. Talking beer. I, I think it's sold. Yeah, I think so. I'm shocked we haven't named the episode that yet. I, I was too. I was thinking about this earlier today. Yeah, I, I'm I'm shocked. <laughs> well, um, I need to uh, disregard the, that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we getting any calls over there yet? Nope, not yet. Okay, well, we'll unless my stuff then. scuffed, but but it could be on idle. Yeah, that's what happened to me last time. It sucks, doesn't it? What What's the point of it going on idle? It, it happened to me last episode. Yeah, and it's uh, like it goes on idle within me. like ten seconds. I don't understand it. It, it didn't work. Clyde was trying to call, and Josh was trying to call, and it it, just, it wasn't working. I had to like reset it. So, um, again, that's another reason to go with the trusty iPad. Uh, set up but you know coleman speaking of of bud light um anheuser bush like they make my uncle told told me this the other day like i didn't even realize they make like bud light and and bush light and make even make a loaf yeah so so i'm surprised people are stopping at at but not not buying bud light i mean they that same company makes a lot of different beers yeah it's it's just something i didn't realize that's true. Yeah, Claude says... You don't make yeah, Yingling, though. <laughs> that's right. That's why he paid $15 for Yingling. But Claude says, yeah, it was a struggle last week to call in. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, well, we do our best over here talking Kentucky. He says we, we do our best right as he um, exits the show. Oh, there he is. As... <laughs> As I kick myself yeah, out, yes, I said as you <laughs> kick yourself yeah. out. Uh, yeah, I right. was trying Looks to. like say... we're getting Josh Hart. Okay, good, good timing. Now it says call filled. Okay, not good timing. Well, I was trying to when I uh, switched myself out of the studio, I was trying to pull up our 2024 football schedule, which we'll talk about. Uh, I guess after we get Josh on the phone here, if he's if he's trying to call in. Um, and anybody else, if anybody's, anybody's watching that you you haven't called in before. We don't bite. Like everybody that calls in ends up being a regular caller because they're they're just that they're just cool like that. So, um, yeah. Try again, Josh. May, maybe I need to take so it comes through my phone too, and my phone was ringing and the iPad say call filled. So I don't understand uh, that. Maybe gotcha. I'll, I need to take my number off of that. Um, maybe you do off of Google Voice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is. Um. But uh, anyway, I guess we can talk about this uh, this football schedule while while Josh is is going to call in. So our twenty twenty four um, non conference opponents for football uh, are the Akron Zips, the Ohio Bobcats, the Louisville Cardinals, and last but not least, the Murray State Racers. Cadence and Stephen texted me uh, right before the show and said that. We all need to go to that game. Yeah, he he was telling me that too. I didn't even realize we were playing Murray until he told me. Um, I don't know how exciting that game will be. But oh, 
could be a fun game to watch. Racer band. Hey, that's another place. I, actually, that's another sticker I got. That's not that's another place I stopped in, you know, on my way to Cadence. So I got I got the Murray sticker here too. Shoe up. <laughs> I think that's what Chew they up. say. Is that what they say? I've they never say, heard that and I've lived over up. here. Yeah, I, I think that's what they say. Maybe any Western Kentucky people can correct me, but I think it's hashtag shoe up. I think that's what it is. Um so uh let's see, Josh said he tried to call in. Is it not call failed on the iPad? It said call failed when you called in, Josh. So maybe try calling in again. Yeah, try try calling. I'll answer in. a little quicker. Yeah, we'll see if it can work here. Um, but moving on yeah, to our <laughs> was that uh that our voicemail? Do we have a voicemail? I guess we do. Wait just a second, Coleman. I can't hear you. Uh oh. See now, now I've, I've ruined it. Can you hear me? Like our show has turned into like the old person. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. My speakers, though. Oh, one second. Okay, good. See, we're get, one of these days. We're we're gonna get big enough that we're gonna be in a studio and we're gonna be able to answer calls like Shannon the dude does on KSR. It's gonna be perfect. We can even put people on hold and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. You forget to pay the bill. That's what he told me last week. He said, did you forget to pay the bill last week? I said, I assure you I didn't. No, I, I paid the bill. So it's here. Um, All right. All right, Josh, do you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, we got Josh now. How's it going, Josh? Are you there? Yeah. Good. It's going really good. Been busy today, you not working, doing some uh, door dads and trying to make some money. Where are you at today? I'm still in John, Johnson County in Eastern Kentucky. And, and you say Johnson County? Yeah. Mm hmm. Thanksville. Have you been there, Coleman? About an hour, about an hour, hour and a half from uh, Lexington. I have not been to, I, I've been over, you know, I've been over to Richmond at EKU. Uh, but, uh, so I've been in the Eastern Kentucky, but I, I haven't been over, uh, over that far East yet. Yeah. So Pike County, Pressburg, uh, Hazard area where I'm from. Well, Josh, I appreciate you, uh, letting us know about the, about the, the beer sales at Kroger Field this year. What do you think yeah, about I, that? I, I think they'll, I think they'll, uh, I think where it's a football stadium, they'll probably have a bigger variety, you know, because there's more fan base going to football than there is probably going to the baseball games. So they'll probably have a bigger variety. So they might have the England there, hopefully, because it's a good beer. Oh, oh I'm all about it. About it. I'll, I'd yeah. be there if there was England. Yeah. Yeah. You think you're going to go to any games this year, Josh? Uh, I'm going to try to catch a few if I can. Uh, uh, Maybe early in this early in the uh, football season, I'll try to catch a few because I, I, I haven't been in a long, long time. Last time I went was when we played. Actually, last time I went is when Jared Lorenzen was quarterback, and that's been forever. And we played South Carolina. I can't remember if we won the game or not, but I think we did. I think we came back and beat them, and that was just a it was a crazy atmosphere. So it's it's a it's a it's definitely uh, very cool to go watch a game there uh, now Cobra Field, which used to be Commonwealth Stadium. Yeah, I can't even tell you the last time I went. Probably when I was at school at UK. But Coleman and I are talking about going to a game this year um, with, yeah. with Justin, right, Coleman? Yeah, we may may as well. Yeah, well, <laughs> Justin needs to call into the show. I know he listens sometime. Uh, my uh, he does need to. Yeah, my, my four. Well, uh, in the morning, in the morning times when I'm, I'm out door dashing, I, I get bored, so I listen to Matt Jones and KSR, which they have some good stuff to talk about. I mean, I just wish they stay with some political stuff, but it is what it is. That's how he is. He's not going to change. But he did say something today that was very interesting about the NIL deal. He said that basically the feds are getting involved. The IRS. 
film and put a, a stop to it. Of uh, the uh, the donors donate me say they they don't, they want this they want this kid to come to their school and they're giving them a donation of like a million dollars and they were writing it off as a tax write off and Matt Jones he considered it was something of fifteen oh three C or something like that. But now the feds is like, no, you can't do that. So all these people that donated the money, of fuck, he's like, Matt Jones is like, are oh, they going to want their money back? Because they was the one, they basically, they were paying for players. And they were getting away with it by saying it was a donation. So they were cash writing it off. And now the IRS is like, no, you can't do that no more. Man, yeah, I have is, said from the beginning. This is why NIL sucks. Exactly. It's like, it's like there's this massive gray area and there's no like there's there's no way around that. And the sad part is I don't see it going away anytime soon now that we've opened that door. Well, I mean the IRS is gonna clamp down, I think, and these programs have been riding the riding the riding the gray line and Cal Perry didn't want to do this. Maybe he was smart about it. Maybe he was actually smart by not doing this. Maybe, you know, these programs just riding that line that's Peter tottering on the edge of disaster, maybe they get busted. You know, next thing you know, the feds will, you know, they they uh, did a big thing on Louisville with the, you know, with their little ring they had going on and Adidas and all this other stuff. So, I mean, you can't play with the federal government. They'll, they'll come down on you hard. And by Calvary staying away from this, Maybe he was the smartest one out of the bunch. Yeah, I, I've I've had that same thought too. And Coleman, what do you what do you think about this? Like, what programs do you think? I can't see. I was trying to hold up. It's white, so it blends in my background. But if you look closely, it says NIL sucks. I was NIL just sucks. Up. Yeah. 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 We can make that a header on our show. Yeah. Talking NIL can. sucks. That, but it is. No, well, it, Josh. It's, it's, I'm glad that was legislation is coming up now. Like I'm, I'm, I'm glad that that's becoming a thing because um, we need it because like it's, it's ruining college athletics right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's becoming just not what it's supposed to be. NIL is not what it was intended to be right now. It's intended to be, I think what John Calipari wants it to be is like true, what he calls true NIL um, which is them just being able to make money off commercials and endorsements in the area. And maybe on a national level, like Jacob Toppin did with AT&T and not this like collective pay to play, which is what it's turned in to be. So. Yeah, I completely agree. Well, Josh, well, do you have I anything else before you go? I think some of the programs that might be in trouble with this is like programs like Kansas, Alabama even, because, you know, and, Maybe Tennessee too, because the, I think there's some of the programs. I could be wrong, but I think there's some of the programs out there that's that's pushing the envelope with it. And Kentucky and Calipari, it was like, you know what? I just don't. We don't want a part of it like that. And you know, I think Calipari in the end will look good while some of these other programs are going to have egg on their face by uh, by. Um, Basically, it's just paying for players to come play for them. So it's like you said, it's messy. It's not, it's not going to fix itself anytime soon. But they're working on it right now to try to get it better. Yeah, if I had to, to yeah, I feel like it's very clear what programs are probably in the wrong here, based off of Kansas. Past, <laughs> yeah, without saying any names. Uh, but yeah. But anyways, Josh, you have anything else before you go? No, that's it. I uh, just played yesterday this Day, so I had a couple of drinks of bourbon on this bourbon. Uh, so it was a good day. But, uh, appreciate your show. And uh, uh, just uh, you guys are just amazing. And, uh, and, and the way better than Matt Young, he, he sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Go Cats. All right, guys. Go Cats. Have a great time. <laughs> It kills me. Um, yeah, anybody else that wants to call in, I think we'll probably get a Clyde call here in a second. You know the number, 502-234-1504. Um, sounds like we got the phone. Did you hear him okay just then? I had yeah, my I did. 
my phone up to the mic that time, but now I got my my iPad. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty good for a phone. I thought it sounded pretty pretty high quality. Why honestly, forgetting? why are you forgetting your iPad, Coleman? Come on now, it's top. Let's go. Oh, I know. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, I, I so, know. So last time he, he says he asks us what we have for him, and now he's calling you out for for forgetting your iPad. He's I know. Did you hear that? I thought something. I thought that was I thought it was funny. Clyde or Clyde calls in. He's like, "What what you got for me?" <laughs> Well, that cracked me up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I was like, "What you got for me?" And then, yeah, that was, yeah. They usually, you guys were supposed to ask that, not me. <laughs> yeah, I was talking uh, to Coleman after he did that. And I was thinking, like, what if Clyde calls in and asks Matt Jones that? I would pay to hear that. You know what? That sounds like a good idea, but I don't listen to KSR <laughs> no more. So, you know, they why, got why not, huh? Why don't you listen to KSR? I'm tired of them lip tarps up there, you know, thinking that Biden is such a good man and all that. I'm sick of it. I get tired of it. But I don't need to get into all that. It's not about that. Uh, that's a different subject for a different day. Yeah, um, after he gets into it. Yeah, after I get into it. But I don't, you know, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what you guys were talking about. Uh, yes, Arthur, you know, you guys were talking about that crate kid, Arthur Kamula. Yeah, he actually, the other day. Before he was sent his visit to Kentucky, I mean, it was already said he was supposed to visit. And then all of a sudden he turns around and commits to Kansas State, the team that beat us in the NCAA tournament. And I wasn't too really awfully worried about it because I kind of already scratched him off my board as a no way, you know, not happening. And, you know, that's when I also started focusing on just getting these freshmen like Smado, Burks, and Joey Hart, you know, I already, you know, and then all this Reeves stuff is just back and forth. And it, you know, for Jeff Goodman to come out on Field of 68 saying that Cal is holding him hostage and all that, none of that is true. We know Jeff Goodman hates Kentucky and he's, you know, going to say a bunch of bull crap and it's crazy stuff going on with the Reeves situation. So, okay, hey, what's, what's the that. Reeves update? Yeah, what's the what's the reason? I actually do have a couple of questions for Clyde uh, this time. So yeah. he, he okay. should have asked what uh, what I have for him this time because I actually do have some stuff. Yeah, what is the Reeves update? Because last time I checked, he's enrolled at Illinois State. That doesn't sound too good for mm-hmm. him coming back to Kentucky. <laughs> so, well, I heard I was watching sources say yesterday with Jack Pilgrim and Sean Smith, and then right like before the show in it, somebody texted Jack Pilgrim. It was like, he was like, he just got good positive news about Reeves returning and all that. And then here we are today, thinking, uh, we wake up this morning thinking, okay, Reeves is like, you know, possibly coming back. We got his name in the locker room. And then, well, you know, hours later, it says he's going to enroll at Illinois State. So, I don't know. I don't know. All the confusion going on right now. Uh, with all this, and my other question is, and for Caden too, like, weren't we supposed to get? Uh, don't we still have an assistant coach opening? Like, and weren't wasn't it supposed to be somebody on the Heat staff? And the NBA Finals is over yeah. now, so I feel like we should have heard about that, like, by uh, right about now. So, I don't know anybody on the coach staff besides Eric Spalsa. He's the only one I know on the Heat, and uh, yeah, and uh, you know, of course, we got John Welts from the Clippers, but. I think that's the only addition we'll possibly have. Is, of course, we still got Ulysses and uh, some. Who else do we have? Oh, yeah, Chick Coleman and Orlando Antigua, and um, of course Cal. And that's really all we have. So. We got the Welch yeah. guy, that the new the yeah, new Welch, Welch guy coming in. Riley Welch is dead. Yeah, I mean, he'll be good. I think he'll be good. Uh, you know, he seems to, you know know what he's doing you know he's an nba guy and we got brady welsh of course uh, my, yeah we got brady oh yeah 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 i forgot about yeah, we welsh. got welsh riley and we welsh. got welsh riley, riley his name is riley welsh yeah his son yeah i forgot about him but he's always fine oh, yeah. then, so you don't really see him anyways and then you know but john welsh he's a guy he's he knows what he's doing he's been in the nba for 20 something years he'll be good i'm actually really excited to see what he can do though well, yeah. Clyde, you got anything else for us before you go? 
No. Um, hopefully here in the next couple of days, we'll get some more commitments and add a full roster and head on to Toronto. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned or whoever mentioned that um, the Cyril kid, the center, because I think I think he will be very important to this roster because we need that inside presence big time. He's a seven footer, yeah. 240 pounds. Yeah, that picture he took of his head with Cal, that I'm like, that's a massive dude. Like, good lord. Yeah, we could even have the the twin towers down there with him I'm, and um. Yeah, well, the name's anyways, escaping me. You, but. you all, Bradshaw. Let yeah. you all go. And uh, oh yeah, Bradshaw. Well, you guys were Ugana. saying something about Ugana is who I was thinking. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, you guys were saying something about Bradshaw. I didn't really hear it. Like, was you guys complaining about? Him not playing the five, or what was it about? Yeah, like, I didn't really pay attention to that part. He wants to play the. He wants him to play the four. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, and I want him to play the five, but Cal wants him to play the four. Well, we don't really have much power forward options, so I see why Cal. I see why Cal wants him to be the four because, I mean, we really don't have a lot of options at power four unless you do want to throw, throw in a duel with the arrow. But we'll see what happens. Sure. Yeah, we sure will. Well. You Thanks for calling care. in, Clyde. You're welcome, and uh, go Cats. Go Cats. All right. Uh, Josh brings up a really good point. I forgot about this. The, the manager, this manager is going to get his scholarship. Did you hear about this kid? Our our student, ma- our manager? Yeah, our student manager. I forget his name. I, I His name's escaped me, and I don't want to, like, say the wrong name or whatever. But apparently, he's been like taking Uganda to school in practice. Oh, he's, our, a big, man, he's a big man. Yeah, and we don't have one of those, so we might offer him. And he's been taking Uganda to school, and I don't know if that's good, uh, if that means that this kid is good, or if that means that Uganda is bad, <laughs> or both. So, um, it, whichever way you cut it, yeah, that. that it, it's a real possibility that that man. I mean, I didn't think Ugana was bad. I thought he, I thought he was a raw talent. He, I thought he had potential though. Angela with some scoop here, and I did, I do remember hearing this last year, and I, I forgot about this that Rondo was supposed to come and do some coaching. So, we'll see. I mean, with him and Ulyss coaching the point guards, I mean, oh it's yeah, got, got, got everything there. Yeah. Is Eula still on the staff next year? Or was I hope was so. He just a GA. I, I didn't know if he was just here for like a a year or if he's here for next year too. So from my understanding, he was helping coach and he was taking classes, right? Yep. So That's I hope he sticks good. around. <laughs> That's a pretty good point guard lineup there between uh Rondo and Eulis, point guard coach lineup. So maybe one of them can suit up too. So what does this roster look like? Like what, what what's it gonna take to make us have a playable roster? We how many more big guys but I feel like we need well, we're supposed to get this Joey Hart kid, right? Who's he he's another bottom of the barrel recruit, but apparently he can shoot the basketball, which most people on our team the past few years have not been able to do. So hopefully, you know, uh that'll help. Well that's we the only it's pessimistic so here. We always hear they can shoot, and then they get here, and something happens. Yep. Yeah. Something is flipped off uh, mentally. I don't know what it is, but dude, Reeves I, I always the wait to see how they can actually shoot when they get here. Reeves was the best player on our team last year, and I knew it the moment I saw him play that first game in the Bahamas. The he first knew it pass too. He made. Yeah. I was like, I'm. I'm a like. I was like, who is that kid? I'm gonna like that Reeves kid. I think I texted oh, no. you the first time he touched the ball, and I said he needs to start. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a star. And then, uh, nope. Uh, Josh Hart says, did Alex Alex Porthris just win a championship for an overseas team? Um, I don't know. Did he? I, I don't think I'd see that yet. Have you seen you're that? Not, you're not up to date on your overseas basketball knowledge. No, I'm not. <laughs> Shame on not, you. Not right now. I know I'm I'm slacking. Um, I need to. Anybody knows out there? Let us know. But yeah. I, don't I don't even know Kentucky football, so I definitely don't know overseas basketball. Well, speaking of Kentucky football, um, our SEC opponents for next year, 
Uh, we're going to play at Florida. We got Auburn at home. We got Georgia at home. We've got South Carolina at home. And we got Vanderbilt at home. And then we end the season with three road trips at Ole Miss, at Tennessee. And here's the big one at Texas. <laughs> so that's going to be a tough game playing at the Texas Longhorns. It'll be only the second time in history that Kentucky has played Texas. I don't know if we won the first game. Um, I assume we probably didn't since we're Kentucky and they're Texas. Um, but uh, that'll be the game next year to go to. I, I, I've never been to Austin, Caden. I like to go to Austin. I, I'd love to go to that Texas game and if if you've never been if you've never been to Oxford, Mississippi, you need to go because Ole Miss's campus is one of the most beautiful campuses I've ever seen, and Oxford's a really cool town. So that Ole Miss trip will be really cool too. And you were telling me about Oxford being a really, really cool place, and I I I I've never I don't even think I've driven through there, so I had no clue. But you're ta really talking it up, and I'll have to check it out sometime. Angela said, "Yep, he did." Uh, Alex Porthrus did win a championship. So Angela with the, uh, with the Porthrus scoop there. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, there, this coffee shop I went to there was called Heartbreak Coffee, which sounds like a weird name for a coffee shop. But, you know, it was, it was cool. like my kind of place. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm saying, it seems fitting for me, too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this actually, this, this, uh, this old dude came up to me and started talking to me while I was there. And, uh, and he said, yeah, it's just hard to meet women at my age. And I said, well, name, hard, was his name hard. Robert? No. <laughs> oh. Um, I but, check. uh, yeah, I just thought you'd check, but, um, just yeah. random name that came to mind, but yeah, just, anyways, go on. I didn't ask him his name, but I, it could have been Robert. So, I mean, who knows? But uh, yeah, he said it's hard to meet women at my age, and and uh, I said, well, it's hard to meet women at my age uh, too. So I feel you there. <laughs> um, but uh, that was that was my Oxford experience. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Uh, so we're that was your whole experience. <laughs> yeah, that was the whole Oxford experience. We get Vanderbilt at home that year, so that'll be good. Um, you know, we're, we're going to need that. So, uh, and we actually we're going to play Louisville. Um, we're going to play Louisville fourth that year. So instead of ending the year with Louisville, we're going to play them as part of one of our four non-conference games at the beginning of the year. So we'll include Louisville and the stinky team. So at Akron, um, which seems a little bit weird, but we're, we're not playing Akron at, at home. It looks like, it looks like according at least to the schedule I'm looking at, we're playing Akron on the road. Um, which is a little strange, but they're going to get hyped for, for that game against Kentucky. The Zips, yeah. Um, that's that's their mascot. Their mac mascot's a kangaroo. The Zips. Um, then we got Ohio at home. Um, which last time we played Ohio in football, I was at the game and we were doing the C A T S cats 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 chant. Um, and uh, we were beating them by like forty. And one of their fans stood up and uh, said, "Oh, H I O, we effing suck," <laughs> and uh, it was pretty good. Uh, but he didn't say effing; he said the real thing, which made it even funnier. Then we play Murray State and uh, Louisville. Then we go at at Florida, and then we have a big home stretch with uh, the four home games in a row: Auburn, Georgia, South Carolina, and Vanderbilt. And then in the year at Ole Miss, at Tennessee, and at Texas. So, um, so there is a world where we could have one loss up until those Ole away Miss. games. Yeah, up and up until Ole Miss, I, I think that Georgia, there's a chance Georgia could be our only loss. For some um, reason, Akron scares me since it's away, and for some reason, Murray State scares me just because it's Murray State. Well, if, what's the chances we lose to Murray State? We almost lost to Eastern Kentucky a couple of years ago at home. We had we had to have some miracle plays happen to not lose that game. And then we have we did lose to uh, Southern Miss at home. We almost lost to Louisiana Lafayette at home one time. So we we almost lost to Chattanooga. Uh, I think it was la last year or two years ago. So Josh says we're going to beat Georgia this year. That's what I'm uh, waiting for. Let's do it. 
I want to see Freddie Maggard's opinion on this, which I need to text him to see next month when when would be a good time for him to come on the show uh, or the end of this month. Um, Josh is speaking into existence. He is. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think that schedule is more favorable than this year. Cause, but I mean, that, that's a crazy, like we got to play Georgia and Alabama this year. And the next year we got to play Georgia and, and Texas. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, that's a tough, tough going for, for Kentucky. So, uh, and the SEC schedule is only going to get harder now for, for 2024, they're keeping it at eight SEC games. Uh, and they're going to keep um, everybody having one permanent opponent and rotating opponents for everything else. Um, and our apparently our permanent opponent would be South Carolina. Uh, I'm not sure why, but we would play South Carolina. Um, it's good for us, though, right? Every year. Yeah, that's really good for us. The SEC doormat, South Carolina. What? So um, the, in, in that case, in the words of, Tony Kornheiser there. I think, I think it is good um, for us, but then the other option is to play non sec games a year. And we would be in a pod with uh, three other teams that we would play permanently. And then the rest would be on a rotation. But in any case we would play um, in either one of these scenarios, I think we would play every sec team uh, once at our place and at their place um, every four years. So in a four-year rotation, we would play everybody everywhere, which would be, which would be pretty cool. So um, I like, I, I like that option. Yeah. I, I like that option too. Um, Claude says, can't wait to beat Texas and Austin next season. Okay. Claude, Claude and Josh are feeling confident right about now. I mean, it is June, so I, th- I think it's about time for us to be hyping up football. That's <laughs> for sure. I just – I don't know. I'm I'm having a hard time these days. I feel like we're just getting let down on everything. So, I'm just a, a hurt fan right now, Coleman. That's fair. Um, uh, I guess I'm, I need to see it to believe it at this point. I was looking – I just – I guess I forgot that we played – um Alabama this year I guess it just didn't register with me because I was looking at Alabama's football schedule the other day it just like popped up on my Facebook feed um and I saw that it's it said uh, at Kentucky and I was like uh I was like that that's not right is it and yeah it, it's right so uh forgot we had to play him um but uh Josh says what else do we have well we got baseball Josh <laughs> uh can I volleyball? Be... We're good at volleyball. That's true. What else are we um, good at? Rifle. We used to be good at cheerleading. Used to. Tennis. Oh, rifle. Yeah, that's true. Rifle and oh, tennis. tennis. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're they're both good. Soccer. So. How's our soccer team? Uh, I think we were pretty good this year, actually. Yeah. Yeah. We won. I think we won a couple postseason games. So. Yeah decent <laughs> um but uh well guys uh, if anybody else wants to call in 502-234-1504 give us a shout uh before we wrap up here um and uh so who do we as we're wrapping up here who else do we have to get in our basketball roster like we have one shooter and Joey Hart, assuming we get that kid, which I think we will, like you have to get how how many more how many more shooters do you think we need besides <laughs> Joey Hart? Do you think we need another like Reeves type player, a guy that can like knock down a three anytime? I would like to at least have two. Yeah. Yeah. But I would like to have two solid players at every position. We got two yep. point guards. We got we got two small forwards now. We got one shooting guard. We got one center. Well we need we need another center, right? I mean we need um 
We need a uh, like Ugana and Bradshaw are going to start. So yeah, we need we need some we need this kid Cobb was talking about. And then how many do you think we need more than that too? You think we need yet another one, even if that kid commits? I would like another power forward and another center. Yes. Another so we need another power forward, another center, and another shooting guard. Right. I, I would agree with that. Then I would feel it like it still happen. It's just it's it might be guys that we're gonna have to develop. Yeah. I'd feel pretty decent about that. You mean it's not gonna be like in three weeks before we play. What's gonna happen if we go up to Canada and lose three games? I mean, I guess our student manager is gonna have to be the star. Hey, we could go up to Canada and lose three games, and then uh, like Wagner and all these guys might be like, "Man, what am I doing here?" And they just like they transfer and go somewhere else, and we have nobody. Like, yeah, then really we bad. turn into an Oklahoma State situation where we're gonna have be, have to be going to the Fine Arts Building to recruit. That's not gonna happen though, but we'll <laughs> we'll see. Um, no, it'll be fine. It'll don't be fine. I, I don't want to be too like pessimistic. We'll be fine. We have the number one recruiting class, which is, you know, more than most teams. So, I guess so. Yeah. Well, uh, guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, listening to us. Uh, as always, we're gonna we're starting back. If you haven't noticed, with our kind of regular Thursday night episodes here of eight o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock Central on Thursdays. Um, Give us a like and a follow here on Facebook. It's where we do most of our stuff. Uh, and head over to YouTube and be sure to subscribe to us there, too. I'll continue to be active on there and on Twitter um, at talking underscore Kentucky. And uh, if you'd like to become one of our Patreon supporters, which, um, Caden, uh, it looks like I got an email that uh, all our new Patreons are going to be getting their coffee mugs. I think there's three of them that are going to get coffee mugs here. Uh, within the next couple weeks. So those are going out uh, to our supporters. Um, and uh, then Scott Sully got his hat for winning the bracket challenge, and he actually sent me a picture of him in the Talking Kentucky ad. So I'll, I'll have to put that up on the page. Um, that'll be good. And, uh, yeah, I've got some uh, some some Talking Kentucky. I've, I actually got one for Caden. Um, I've got nice. – and I've got one for uh, – we'll, we'll probably give um, – you know, probably give some the people that come on the show and or you know whatever. But I you know, I got got several. I, I got all the talking Kentucky ads right now, so we're we're in business. A um, mesh on the back, breathable. Yeah, it's breathable. Yeah, on the bag. So, yeah, it's it's good. So, um, and so if you want to become one of our supporters, um, go to uh that link there that Caden just posted in the comments there. And uh, talkingkentucky.wordpress.com slash support and uh, give us a follow there. Um, and uh, Josh just needs to sell them. Uh, I know we do. Uh, yeah, I was. We were talking about this. We need to find a way to. We need to find a way to, to do put it. this merch on the on the page. Yeah, we we do. And uh, for the people I'll, that don't I'll want to pay monthly and just want the the merch, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah, we need we do need to figure that out. We'll keep you updated on that, Josh, because I know you want a hat. So, um, but uh, well, um, and shirts too, Josh says. Josh, Josh, wear a shirt, long sleeve or short sleeve though. That's the question. I think I'm thinking long sleeve. Like long sleeve, long sleeve shirts could look good. They're, I don't have any long sleeve shirts, but I would. I would wear a talking Kentucky long sleeve. You'd wear a talking Kentucky long, long sleeve, yeah. That's that's for sure. Um, even though Josh is short, I guess we'd have to do both. <laughs> we could do both. Um, well, polos, uh, polos would be sick. They would. Oh, polos, yeah, polos would be. Polos would be sweet. Um, well, for Coleman Scott, I mean, this is obviously going to be talking beer, right? There's no, there's no deliberation about that, right? That's it's going to be talking beer. So, episode number fifty six, talking beer. Uh, for Coleman Scott, uh, for Caden Holmes, uh, for Murray State, for Ole Miss. Um, for lighter fluid not working. For lighter fluid not working. For delayed lighter fluid. Yeah. Um, this has been episode number fifty six of Talking Kentucky. 
And we'll see you guys next Thursday night for episode number 57. Be sure to tune in, check it out. Uh, thanks, guys, as always, for uh, for hanging with us. We appreciate it. And uh, go Cats. <laughs>